This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. My name is D. Reader, the Mean All Terror, for those of y'all that are new. And welcome to the Mean All channel. So, we got the therapist, the Queen of Cups, and we got completion, the number nine, the number four, and the filmmaker. Okay, so, of course, we got a cancer that is a therapist or, you know, could do like counseling or something to that extent, but we also got a cancer that's in the entertainment industry. So, if either one of those fall in line for you, I do see things being pretty successful for you. We do got the full card. So you could be going into something new, something that you weren't expecting. And we also got the Prince of Wands in reverse. So there could be a masculine energy that's been talking badly about you. But we got the High Priestess in reverse. Some of you ain't been tapping in. Some of you haven't been, you know, leaning on spirit. You've more just been living. And I understand that because sometimes... You know, being overly spiritual can be overwhelming for some people. So I get it, Cancer. But they basically that you know, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you haven't been making the right moves. You're playing chess backwards. That's why you could be stagnant right now. I do see some of y'all did have a vacation plan, but maybe things didn't go as planned. You had to, like, call off a vacation or call off a trip. Maybe this had to do with family. Somebody could have tried to do some spiritual work against you or your family. Or like some type of black magic doesn't look like that worked. We got the death card. So yes, yeah, something did come to an end. That's not an indication of death, but it's the indication of an unexpected ending. So some of you could be going through this right now. Some of you could have already went through it. This could be with a Leo. We got the sun in reverse. Today, Cancer's match is going to be Leo. It's like something was supposed to come to the light, but it didn't. And we got the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're in the Queen of Wands energy right now. So... She's all about manifesting, but she's all about the truth. So that could be what you're wanting right now. And then we got the hermit in reverse. So you're showing up in your own energy right now. But with you showing up in reverse, it's like you're not being yourself. You're not being yourself, Cancer. And that ultimately could be the problem. You know, so just keep that in mind. And then we also got the kindergartner. So it's like a beginner's mind with the princess of this. And then we also have the higher plant in reverse, which is a little bit of um a little bit of Taurus energy. So somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, especially for those of my cancers that are dealing with a Taurus masculine. Or the, you know, it can be either way. With the chariot showing up a little bit of Virgo, and then the princess of wands showing up in reverse. Somebody, it's like somebody in this connection is portraying one thing. But in reality, it's a whole nother thing. So it's almost coming off like an illusion. I don't know if this is you, Cancer. I don't know if this is them. So just keep that in mind as well. And then we also have truth. So I do see you making amends with somebody from your past. 444 four, four are going to be your angel numbers right now. And we got the ace of disc in reverse. So yeah, something that Cancer manifested didn't go as planned. It didn't go the way you thought it was going to go. So this could have been... A relationship for a lot of y'all. And then we also have the Master of Clouds intellect. And we have the Nine of Lightning. We got resilience. And we got the two of Raindrops. We got partnerships. So you're going to be finding out the truth about your partner for those of you that are in a relationship or some type of connection. So just keep that in mind. And then we also have the Oracle Lightning Determination. And we got the Three of Clouds. We got Heartbreak. So for those of my cancers that are going through a heartbreak energy, I see you very determined to figure out why this person did what they did to you. A lot of you feel like it was a reason or some type of, you know, arterial motive and why your situation, you know, went the way it went. And we also have the Ten of Raindrops fulfillment and the Ten of Clouds we got in this. So with the Death card and the Ten of Clouds, yeah, there's definitely a relationship in Cancer's life, whether this is with a family member, a lover, or a friend that came to an end. This is general. We got the star. This could have been with an Aquarius. And we got the eight of lightning in reverse, which indicates something coming to an end with an Aquarius. Something came to an end with an Aquarius for some of my Cancers. Now, always remember, Cancer, if y'all are wanting to see content for Cancer, if you are on YouTube, send a super like. And if you are on TikTok, send to the CA, y'all. It is pinned above. For those of you that would like to be added to the money ritual tonight, it is $5. Make sure you send to the CA above, y'all. So, we got the high priestess. We got intuition. And we got the two of lightning. We got planning. So, use your intuition to plan something new 
use your intuition to, you know, plan something better. And then we also have the Oracle of Clouds and the Ace of Lightning. We got Inspiration and the Three of Lightning. We got the Journey and we have the Moon. So we got Shadow Work. So I do see a lot of shadow work for you. I do see you doing a lot of self-reflecting and paying attention to why certain things went the way it went in your life. Because always remember, Cancer, you play a part in your destiny and you play a part in your journey and you play a part in why things go the way they go in your life. We got the tree of wisdom. They're telling you to take what you learned from this situation and, you know, move forward. Don't hold, you know, that resistance in. We got the life of energy and then we also got shine from within. So this is allowing your spirit to shine, your soul to shine. Regardless of, you know, what happened to you, you are no longer a victim of that. I see you remaining hopeful. If you haven't, then you better start because we got fairy spotting. So everything you've been asking for, it's time to go fairy spotting. It said that seeing is believing and in fact the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. So you have to believe in what you want to see. I want a Range Rover. I don't want no Range Rover. My dream car is a Rolls Royce. But if you want a Range Rover, hey. Or let's be, you know, you're not going to even say let's be realistic because that is realistic. If somebody else can do it, you can do it. So if you set that high goal for yourself, start seeing yourself doing it. You know what somebody told me? Like, they went, now, I, me personally, I ain't going to do this. But, you know, if you decide to do it, you decide to do it. Somebody told me, you know, I wouldn't test drive a car until I got the car I wanted. Like, I kept going and seeing it and just, I pushed myself to make it happen. Whatever you have to do. You know, seeing is believing, believe, believing is seeing, whichever way it got to go for you, motivate yourself to go after what you want. And we got come together. You could even be working with somebody to find a balance. This could be a Libra. We got some Libra energy here. So some of my cancers are really close to a Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. And then we also got transformation. So as you are working on yourself, as you are working on your character, as you are working on your energy, as you are working on your aura, Things will change for you. And we got music. So for those of my cancers that are in the music industry, I do see your music career transforming. For those of my cancers that use music as a form of healing, I'm seeing that could be a hard part of your healing process to flourish, to grow, and to elevate. What is the final message for cancer? Well, I appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much. What's the final message for cancer? So we got protect your dreams. So don't lose hope or lose vision of your dreams because things are getting a little tough. Nature is working for you. Spirit is working for you. Elevation is working for you. Trust the process, Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we got motivation. Be your own motivation if that's what you got to be. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there is something that you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Be your own motivation. Let this motivate you to get up, go after your goals, and do what you need to do for you. I appreciate you, Cancer. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, y'all. And if you did resonate, feel free to send a donation for cancer or send a super like. Thank you.